Say hi, tech crew. Hi, tech crew. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Star Room. I'm Phil, and today we're having more fun with Curious George. As you know, Curious George is part of a book series, so that means if you like it, you can read lots more. Today we're going to do two fun things. We're going to read a fun Curious George book, and then we're going to do a fun activity two ways, but not yet. So come around here and we'll read the story. The name or title of our book is Curious George and the Pizza. Mm. When we're done, a big person will ask you the four questions. They'll ask you question number one, what is the name or title of the book? They'll ask you question number two, who are the characters inside the book? They'll ask you question number three, what happened? And they'll ask you question number four, did you like it? So let's start. The name or title of our book is Curious George and the Pizza. Has anybody seen my glasses? Oh, there they were, on my apron. Okay, now we can start. The name or title of the book is Curious George and the Pizza, and the book starts now. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said his friend. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizzas ready for baking. He flattened out a ball of dough into a large pancake and tossed it into the air. He spread tomato sauce on it, sprinkled it with cheese, and shoved it into the oven. Then the telephone rang. A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife called. Okay, I'll get my coat, said Tony. George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? He jumped up on the counter and took some dough. George pounded the dough into pancakes. Then he tossed them into the air with all four hands. One of them plopped right in the middle of a table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on a coat rack, and one fell on the jukebox. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Who did that? he shouted. George was scared. He ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. That customer is still waiting for his pizza, said Tony's wife. You'd better hurry. They'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. I forgot all about it, Tony said. Quickly, he packed the pizza into the back of the truck and drove off. George was trapped inside. The truck sped up to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were locked. Oh, no, Tony moaned. How will I ever deliver the pizzas? He opened the back door of the truck, and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you bad little monkey, Tony cried. He reached out to grab George, but then he stopped. I've got an idea, he said. You're just the one I need. How good that George was a monkey. He's really not a monkey. He's an ape. We'll talk more. Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering the pizza. Yep, we're definitely going to talk about that. Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for all the trouble you caused. I'm going to make a special pizza for you and your friend when we get back. And that's what they did. The end. Well, that was a good story, but we do need to talk for a minute. Now, please remember, Curious George is not a monkey. Monkeys have tails. George does not. He's an ape. Keep that in mind. Now, let's get on with our project. Take a look over here. I sent you a fun pizza maze because Tony and George had to deliver the pizza. Now, if you want to, you can use your scissors with thumbs up when you cut and paper and things from around your house, and you can put them on your maze. I got a little fancy. I cut them into triangles like little pieces of pizza. Yum! But 
if you really want to have some fun, you can do it a different way. Check this out. I decided to do it with bananas because George loves them. I took a knife. Remember, star room rules. Hot, sharp, sticky, gotta ask a big person. So, but this is a kid's safe knife or you can use a popsicle stick. You can have a grown up help you and you can slice bananas. Then, when you're done, you can use a toothpick to pick up the banana pieces and put them on your path. And of course, when you're done, you can use your pointer finger and thumbkin to pick up the bananas and eat. Mmm. Come back next time for more fun, and we'll see you next time in the star room.